Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. When you keep this many animals, you got to have your own little pet projects to keep you motivated during those long days' work. We're going to go around to the crew and ask them what their pet projects are. You're watching Snake Bites. All right, guys, you know I work with a lot of Brian's high end pet projects. You know, I put a lot of care in these things, and there's a few that are really interesting. You guys probably haven't seen a couple of our shows. We got the Jigsaw. Beautiful animal. Look at that. It's a paint job. Got a couple more too you might not have seen. We've got a ghost pewter. And anything with ghosts is awesome, as everybody knows. Look at that pattern. Oh yeah. And I got a super black pewter bee. Oh yeah. Super black pewter bee. Gorgeous, gorgeous animal, sweet paint job. Extra special attention, my projects. All right guys, you've probably seen one of my personal pet projects, which is my Carmel Albano, Kinks the Slinks. And believe it or not, Kinks the Slinks used to look like Kinks Jr. right here. Look at that, all kinked up, but I didn't give up. I didn't give up on her. I kept feeding her, she kept hanging in there. Now, she's the love of the shop. Look how beautiful she looks. Almost all of her kinks are worked out. All right guys, you've seen a lot of snakes here and I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm gonna take you guys to the top secret room at BHP. A lot of the most expensive, most ridiculously looking snakes are in this room. I'm, I can get in a lot of trouble for this, so I mean, keep on the down low. That's gonna be awesome, dude. Uh, yeah, um, Cal, I should be on there somewhere. All right, go on in. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You on the list? Uh, I'm with Cal. No, no, he's with, no. He's with me though. No, hell he's, no. He's with, hell he's, no. I'm with I, Cal. Hell no. Pet project time at BHB. I'm Chewy. This is Teddy, the tadpole, and we're gonna show you my boa projects. Beautiful pets. Okay, specimen number one is one of my personal favorites, the anatheristic boa. Pet project number two is a big one, Hypo Boa. You saw number one, you saw number two, now number three. A beautiful sun glow boa constrictor. Okay, I saved the best for last. My personal, rescued, favorite, Lucky the albino boa. This is one of my pet projects. These are albino house snakes. Uh, they're a really cool animal. I got into the regular house snakes years ago and then um, about two years ago we found the albinos and got into them. Here we have a regular normal house snake and here you can see what the albino looks like. Kind of really takes a cool snake and makes it even prettier. You guys know that I'm a snake guy at heart, but a pet project of mine has been the leopard geckos. You've been hearing all the controversy about it. I tell you, I got some neat new animals a couple weeks ago, and don't tell Lori, but I got a new shipment of leopard geckos coming in about two weeks for my buddy at Sean at Prototype Pythons. Got enigmas, all kinds of cool stuff. I'm going to show you a few of the cool ones that I have. Here's an aptor. Red stripe. A red striped rainwater albino. Tangerine. A super hypo tangerine. Bold stripe. An enigma. Okay, this is a red eyed Mac Snow Enigma. I have a feeling that my leopard gecko group is going to get quite large in the next year. And now a word from our sponsor. Hey, hand dog. when is the NARBC show in Texas this year? It's the 7th and 8th, Killer Clown. Killer Clown, we'll be there. All right. Hey, Steve, when's the hockey playoffs start? Uh, I think they start the 15th of Pastel Camo. Pastel Camo? Cool. Yeah. Hey, guys, know it's a little early, but there's going to be a huge St. Patty's Day party at Chewy's Pad on the 17th of T-Positive Motley. Be there. Don't miss it.
Here at Snake Bites, we keep all of our dates by these cool calendars by Exotics by Nature's. If you want to pick these guys up, you'll keep your dates that way too. Go to ExoticsByNature's.com. Do it. Snake Myths. Fact or Fiction. Hey, Brian, you know how pythons have heat pits and they use it to locate their prey? Well, I got a message from a viewer asking that if we stuck our hands in ice water and handled the snake, if it would affect a bite or not. Well, I think what we have to do is first establish a snake that's willing to bite pretty much anything. Then, get someone to stick their hands in ice water and see what the effects of that are. Anybody in mind? Well, there's one guy that's on strike here. I think the strike's gonna end today. You sure you do pay the guy? Yeah. Chewy. Chewy. Hen dog, this is BS. I'm on strike. And you're gonna make me do a 13-foot berm? Okay, this is what you've been waiting for. Yeah, right, I'm not in that stupid. Baby section. Ow! 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 Real cold. Ah! <laughs> he didn't even bite me, he didn't bite. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it hurt. It. Ah! <laughs> it almost bit in my face. You beat in my face. I'm back on strike. All right, Bryce, what the hell happened? I tell you what, that snake that was willing to bite with the warm hands was just as willing to bite when the hands were in ice water. Didn't see any effect on this one at all. I'm just starting to think that snakes just don't like chewy. You might be right about that. So back to fiction, Bryce. This one's total fiction. 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 This week on Ask the Breeder, the question is, do I need UV bulbs to simulate sunlight for my snakes? The truth is, most snakes are nocturnal, which means they really move around only at night and rarely see the sun in the wild. So I would save my money on UV bulbs unless you think they look good or you have lizards or tortoises. If you have any questions for me at Ask the Breeder, send them to brian at snakebites.tv. Alright guys, so Barack Obama has been inaugurated. He is our new president. What is the guy going to do? And dog, do you think Barack is going to end this worthless war, or what? I, you know, the only thing I care about, what's he going to do about the economy? All right, guys, that brings us to Cal's question of the week. You've heard some of the major concerns. What do you guys think about our new president, Barack Obama? Do you think he's going to do anything? Do you think he's going to be successful or not? Let me know. Text or video comment below. I want to hear what you have to say. Video comments. So there it is, our pet projects, things that keep us motivated even on the longest days. The online community I want to shout out to this week is actually one of my own, snakebites.ning.com. Go ahead and hang out there, upload videos, pictures, interact with other users. It's a pretty cool place. I hope you guys check it out. Next week is our 50-second show, our anniversary. It's going to be a big one. We want you guys to tune in. Thanks for watching Snake Bites. <laughs>